Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my series on my DIY solar install. This is part four in my series and we are working on the racking system for the solar panels. So we're using the racking system by Iron Ridge. This is the flash foot two that you're looking at here. I have 38 of them to install. Here's some of the racking leaning up against the roof here. Last week, I was able to get a few of them installed over on this part of the roof. Right here, I'm showing you the final layout, what the panels will look like. I was able to take this picture with the DJI Spark that I bought, and that's the specific reason that I bought the drone, was to take this picture right here so I can show a clearer layout of the panels. So as you can see, I have the racking installed for the panels over here, and today I am working on the rest of the racking. Okay, so here's how we install each of the flash foot twos. So, I have actually been just using a hammer to try and find the rafter. That seems to be the easiest way for me to find them. Get it lined up here. Start my hole and hope that we hit a rafter. Yep. And there it is. All right, so we gotta lift up the shingles so it can slide up underneath there. That has been proved to be a little tricky. Let's see, does that nail need to come up? Probably. Yep. Fortunately, there's a nail right here. Test fit it to make sure that it slides up underneath there completely. And then use some sealant. Put a little bit on the hole. Slide up underneath there. Of course, I forgot to grab a bolt. Okay. Nice and easy.
So once the flash foot twos are installed, the rails go in really easy like this. And you just take one of these T-bolts and slide it into the rail. They have a channel right here and you can just slide them in. Uh, if it's one of the long rails, if you don't want to slide it in, they do have them to where they're flat on two sides, so you can just stick it into the channel and then turn it, and then it'll lock into place. I don't mind sliding it down. It wasn't that difficult just to slide them down. It's not like you have to do it with very many of them. You just slide it down in there, put it in the fork of the flash foot, and tighten it down. And uh, the nice thing with the iron ridge is it all bonds together so you don't have to run so many grounding cables. It uh, makes it quite nice. So that does it for my DIY solar part four. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more I Can Do It Myself videos.